We're live. Oh my God. <laughs> it's fireball. Oh my God. It's the mayor of Malibu, Paul Grisanti. We are at uh, today, Caneo Valley Cars and Coffee. And as you can tell from uh, some of the cars behind us, there it is. There's a Mustang behind us. And uh, a lot of really interesting people and cars that are rolling in. Like Jeeps. Like Jeep. Jeeps. That was. Yeah. Uh, so we are at, uh, at Craig Casey's show, and we're going to walk around, and we're going to show you guys an amazing show. And if anybody asks me, they don't know who I am, that's where I got my hat. Perfect. I got my, just in case you were wondering. Uh, you need uh, just a hat that says, I'm the mayor, and so what? Or something, I don't that's know. That's right. Just call me and tell me whatever your Malibu problem is. <laughs> right. Um, but uh, when Paul first became mayor, I said, what do I call you? And he said, your, your Royal Highness was one. That was good, but I, I'm, I'm really going for the grand illustrious Pooba. <laughs> I think that would be good. G-I-P. Yeah. Yeah, the Jip. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at some cars, shall Sounds we? Sounds good. Uh, here's a, a beautiful 1940 Olds. Oh, look at that. That is sweet. Are you old enough to have driven something like this when you were young? I had a 41 Buick sedan. It was not a convertible. Okay. Convertibles are for rich guys. <laughs> then this guy was super wealthy. Yeah. It's got original plate on it. Very nice. I just tripped over the Drive magazine. And it's painted black, so you know that it's smooth. Yeah. Look at the car. The carpet's yellow, but it's got red in it. Well, it's kind of it's weird. Sun, sunburn. Sunburn. <laughs> Here's Craig Casey's car. I've had sunburn before. Yep. Yeah, if you have, uh, if you've been to Craig's show before, you'll notice that he's got a 442. Uh, what's up, Geraldine Tonga? Movie Mike Walsh, Dennis Burnham, Danny. Good to see you, Harrison. There we go, Mike Pulse. Thanks for joining us today. We're at Canelo Valley Cars and Coffee in uh, Newberry Park with the uh, the illustrious mayor of Malibu, Paul Grisanti. I am Fireball, your host. Just in case you were wondering, I got my new hat on. I'm kind of excited about that. I get excited about the dumbest, silliest little things. Um, let's keep walking. I think that's a terrific idea. Okay, let's go. Uh, if you spot something How really cool. How about this 55 this, uh, Chevy that looks like it's... Uh, it's just must have just had a new engine put in yeah. because it hasn't finished off the grill. It's missing its skirt. Uh huh. Okay. Nice. Looks good. Clean. Huh? Hard to argue with clean. It it kind of looks like a two lane blacktop, doesn't it? It does. It does. But so it, so the uh, the wheels are very two lane blacktop. Yeah, it's kind of bare bones. Yeah. I like the shifter. Looks like uh, there's a little bit of drifting going on in there. You think that's what that is? Oh, mm -hmm. it could be. Yep, yep. Uh, let's like, take a look at this yellow uh, hot rod over here because the guy that owns this car drove to the show and he is 94 years old and he looks like he's 64. Pretty close. Pretty close. There it is. All right. Very, very nice. Very yellow. You want me to take your pick? You got it, Dad? Todd? <laughs> Looks good. Oh, look, at the, look at these headlight stanchions. Did you notice that they've got, they've got ribs on one side? Oh, yeah. Look at that. I wonder he, where they came He from. said that the only thing that he hasn't rebuilt in this car is the headlights. Huh. He's done all the work himself. And he's 94, and he did it. He did it when he was really young, like three years ago. So he was only nine, he was 90. He was a little kid when he did the the rebuild on this. That's the beauty. What's this? This is a, a Holman and Moody car, but or a clone of one. <laughs> it's a nine. I think it's a 63. Juggling all this. 63 Ford. Fireball Roberts. Uh -huh. Is this a, really an original Fireball Roberts car? I don't know. We could ask. It yeah. sure looks like it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so this one is just kind of exploding. Wow. Uh, this, here's a nice classic over here. I mean, that was kind of You know, do you remember... Chrysler Excellence. Do you remember the ads for cars like this and the, the magazine ads? Yeah. Uh, they were all done by illustration, illust, illustrators like Art Fitzpatrick, 
Uh, some amazing illustrations of these cars. Uh, no photographs back then. And lifestyle. And lifestyle. It was lifestyle. It was. The car it was. was lifestyle. Look at that. It's a beauty. There's still cars rolling in. Caneo Valley Cars and Coffee. Wow, green with a red interior. This is the kind of car I would want to drive around Christmas time. It would yeah. be perfect for the Woody Parade. <laughs> Malibu's Woody Parade. Very nice. Very serious. Yeah, yeah. Let's go down back down the front. Uh, oh, say hi to Craig real quick. Yeah, we yeah, do. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Casey, right there. Ladies and gentlemen, Fireball Tim. Uh, Craig, uh, can do they, they know can, that? Can I talk to you for a second? Yes, you may. They know that now because I got my hat on. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah. It's backwards. It's yeah, uh, Craig, this is Paul Grisanti. Hi, Paul. Nice, nice to meet, meet you, Paul. Show. Nice to meet you. We only bring important people. Hey, I like this it. Show. Uh, so, Craig, what uh, what's the point of this show? What is the point of this show? Well, the main point is to come out here, drink coffee, look at beautiful cars, hang out with great people. And be home by 10 o'clock and nobody even knows you left. <laughs> the That's the, the main point. Yeah, so hopefully yeah. the wives are still sleeping. Yes, exactly. You know? Some and of from, them are out here, though, too. True, yeah. true. But from their point of view, we're, we're, we're giving them extra time Amen. to sleep. Amen, yes. You know, we're amazing husbands. Yes, we are. Yeah, right, Paul? I, I got to say that my wife did mention that it was nice that she wouldn't have to worry about feeding me or anything like that this yeah. morning. Yeah. That lump on the other side of the bed is gone. They're in the basically morning. glad we're gone. Yeah, <laughs> which is really nice. Uh, website, where can people go to see uh, this? It's uh, CV for Canal Valley, carsandcoffee.com. Okay, and, and, there's a, and the Facebook page. Yes, cars Facebook and, group. Yeah, Canal Valley Cars and Coffee on Facebook. Okay. Yes. All right, we're going to keep poking around. Because Paul is royalty, and we got to get keep I'm, him I'm, going. Watch this. I'm touching him. Now yeah. I'm kind of a, a royal royalty. <laughs> well, you know. A royal pain in the thumb. I just might point you our ambassador hey, to Canal Valley. For today, right? <laughs> for today. All right, I'll take morning. it. <laughs> it's official. You heard it here. It's live. And if it's live, it must be true. So uh, let's go over and check out some of these other cars here. Here's a skyline. Classic Skyline, if you guys, you guys are into that. There's some Nissan GTR Love right there. That's nice, we'll come back to that Plymouth. California color, look at that, isn't that beautiful? It is wonderful. And then there's some, a uh, couple of Corvairs. Uh, completely unsafe at any speed, but there's, super cool down. It's a trio, actually. There's three Oh, there is three of them, look at that. And they're all very nice. Yeah. I don't know what the deal is. I think uh, Corvairs are freaking awesome cars. And uh, Tony's got one. My friend Tony Dow has a Corvair, and it's spectacular. Uh, Edgar Glenn's watching. What's up, Edgar? Good morning, gents. Uh, Ken Vela uh, is Fireball Roberts and for sale, too. Yeah, that's right. So is, is it really a Fireball Roberts car? It kind of looks like it. I mean, it's kind of old, like us, you know. We could ask. We yeah. could always ask. We'll, we'll circle back to it. We'll circle back. Okay. Look at this Thunderbird. Woohoohoo! That's a beauty. Fireball, I'm wondering, have you ever felt the urge to go 180 miles an hour? You know, it's funny that you should you should ask that because I have I'm overwhelmed with an urge to want to do that today. Well, there's a gentleman here who has a deep you could do it in a diesel. Now, we've, we've, we've always thought of diesels as slow and smoky. Mm -hmm. This one has gone 180 miles an hour, twice that we know. It's a little scary. Uh, this, it's this it's is, pretty serious. You know, I thought it said 4,710 horsepower at first. And I thought, wow, that's a lot. You know, but I don't think so. But it's, uh, it's quite fast and quite long. I'm guessing MDT has something to do with what class it's in. <laughs> So um, you sit in the center, you, uh, you hit a bunch of buttons, a couple of buttons, you hit the gas pedal right there, and then this thing kicks into gear. Anyone know what this is? It's, it's big, it's big, that's all we know. These, these guys are looking at this thing just like we are, like, what? You've got to be kidding me. I don't know. Quite, quite insane. There's a beautiful turquoise Nova over there. That is a beautiful convertible. A couple of Chevys. 
Nice Camaros. Mm -hmm. GTO yeah. with a 455. Good show. Ooh. Now, you guys are seeing all these numbers backwards, but don't fret. It's just the camera. We're not backwards, uh, at least not today. This is uh, pretty. Here's some that? nice more part. Oh, that is it's awesome. I love that, man. Is this your guy's car? No. Okay. Not mine. All right. I wish it was. Yeah, keeping your you. fingers crossed. Really nice. If nobody leaves with it, it's yours. <laughs> no, I'm good at that deal. <laughs> nice Ford. There's a uh, little bit of Cobra action going on. Uh -huh. So, Paul, if I could hand you the keys to any car on the planet for your personal enjoyment for one full on day. On the planet or, or any car in this parking lot? Uh, we... Uh, uh, yeah, in the parking lot. We we haven't seen anything yet. Okay, we're getting we're keep we're going. getting there. Yeah. So any car that you could have for yourself, what would that be? Well, I've, I've uh, just today that Plymouth right there is very nice. That gray Plymouth's very nice, mm -hmm. and there was another one in the next row over that I also like. Oh, I'm getting a. Ha I've never had uh, a Mopar since I was. Uh, Early on in college, I had a Valiant, uh, and the thought of having one that's much nicer than the Valiant <laughs> and a hell of a lot faster yeah. is enticing. Yeah. Here's the Willys. That is a very nice Willys, and that, and that just is pulled a in. very short wheelbase. Wow. That is like a Tinker Toy. It kind of looks like a full-size Tonka. I bet you the, um, uh, the, uh, the steering on this might get you into trouble. If you had to go like like it wouldn't really pass the moose test you know right well, I mean? yeah i don't think the you moose know. test which they do in sweden it's crash worthiness if you hit a moose yeah this vehicle the moose would come right to here <laughs> right, and look you in the face you wouldn't even hit his legs <laughs> and right next to it a brand new jeep rubicon pretty nice they're making the jeeps look so so mad all the time now what's what's with the that's why, an accessory. Yeah, why do they have to be so pissed off all the time? Well, people want their Jeep to look different. Yeah. Quick fireball, can we can we get that? I think that's a 65 Ooh. or 66 Corvette you there. Wanna, you want to go look and slobber on that one? Yeah, okay. it's a big block. Yeah. It's coupe. I love a coupe because I'm my suntan aversion. Mm -hmm. And uh, very nice Stingray. Not a split window, but what year is this, Paul? Split windows are 63s, and I think this hood was only available in 65 and 66. Okay. So this is probably a 65, I think. That, uh, that gloss, that paint is quite beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all that surface. And all those curves. Yeah, and all those curves. We are talking about the car, people. Yeah. Uh, here's a, a Bel Air that's quite beautiful with a... Uh, an off-white cream and turquoise combo. Yeah, this thing is stunning. And of course, he brought all that color into the inside. Look at that. Mm. Mm -mm. If it was uh, not scratch and sniff, but maybe maybe buff and lick, that would be good. Actually, their their paint was very buff and lickable. <laughs> I had a '57 we'll Chevy do that, that later. same color. Uh huh. And it was it was just a treat to wax it because that that paint that they had then yeah just came up so nice. And you get a good car like that, you wax it, and you feel like a karate master after a while, don't uh -huh. you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, the turnout at this show is always pretty good. Uh, here's a uh, a car with a slightly large motor. I think it's a. Uh, I think I think we go all the way to very large. That's all they have. Yeah. That's all they have. That's pretty well. It's an LS with twin turbochargers. Oh my God! Whose is this? Yours? Wow. Can, you come, can you come talk to me about this? Sure. Okay. Uh, man of the hour just rolls in. Tell me your name. My name is Griffin Steinfeld. Uh, Griffin, uh, you brought in a Malibu SS. I've seen a lot of these cars. Mm -hmm. uh, not one with a motor quite this size. Yep. It's and uh... you're, you're missing one of the headlights too. Two of them. Oh, okay, both of them. Yep. Okay. So, what? Is, tell me about this car. What have you done? Uh, it's a '66 Chevelle. Um, that's 
been a progression for a number of years. It started off as my mom bought this car for my dad 20 something years ago. And uh, uh, it's just so been what, a, way back. Yep, it's Old been school. in the family for a while. Okay. Um, yeah. So I'm, I'm 27. So you know, I've been kind of taking this car over, you know, over how, the period of time. How dare you drive something so cool at 27 years old? Shoot, because I built it. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So uh, uh, some of the mods, uh, what's the motor? It's a 388 cubic inch LSX. It's a dark LS next block, uh, AFR cylinder heads, uh, a pair of custom Turbonetics turbos, and uh, you know, it's a little street motor. Yeah, so what are you pumping out with the... Uh, the twin turbo. Uh, it should make around 1,800 horsepower. 1,800. So not that much. No, it's street car. Yeah, power to weight. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the car weighs 4,000 pounds. It's all steel, full interior. And, yeah. you know, a couple weekends ago, we just went to Vegas with it. And it did 86, or 846 at 171 yeah. uh, on Schmedium boost. So we've got probably another two or 300 more horsepower left on top. Yeah. So uh, uh, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but this is not normal. <laughs> not normal uh, by any means. Uh, 1,800 horse. The car weighs at what, about 3,500? 4,000 with me oh, in it. 4,000, that's right. That's yeah. a heavy girl. Yeah, it depends on how many burgers you've had. For exactly. Lunch and that yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, great job. Thank Spectacular you. job. Uh, let's show these guys what this looks like. Thank you. There's the uh, couple of uh, headlights that are missing. Yep. A little added uh, extra air. Uh, what's the paint? Because it's quite, it's a beautiful color. That's the only thing we haven't changed in the car. So it's like a burgundy wine. I don't know the actual color code yeah, okay. because it was like this when we got it, but uh, it's like a burgundy wine yeah. uh, type, you know, red. -ish. Okay. And and you, what uh, tracks have you taken it to? You what you said you went to Vegas. Um yeah, Vegas, Irwindale, Bakersfield, yeah. um, all the West Coast stuff really. Okay. Okay. Yeah, English Town next. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really nice. Thank you. Yep. Have you had uh, uh, use for this? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, every every pass at Irwin Delaware, I drop the laundry and helps me slow down because it okay. is hard on brakes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fantastic. Way Thank to go, you. man. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'll give you. A, there's the card. Oh, cool. Yeah, this this, it, this is live, so it's up right now. Right on. Uh, anybody want to say hi to? Or hi everybody. <laughs> Any <laughs> What's website up? or anything like that? Um, social media, Griffin Steinfeld, and okay. uh, you can see everything. So. All right. Great. Thank you, man. Thank you. This is what it's like to get behind the wheel of something very scary. And there's a little, there's a little red button in there, right? That's uh... there is. There's two. There's one on the shifter, which is a trans brake. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what makes me feel like I'm getting rear-ended by a train when I leave the line. Yep. And uh, the one on the steering wheel does actually two things. That's my bump button. Okay. So when I'm holding the trans brake, I bump into the beams when it's up in boost. Okay. And uh, when the trans brake is disabled, and I grab that button, it's like it's a scramble button. So it basically okay. spikes the turbos for more horsepower. It's kind of like your nitrous shot, if you will. So. Okay. So it's simple. I thought maybe it was an ejector seat or something like that. But, <laughs> no, no. But yeah. That's the go fast button. The safe stuff. Uh, go baby, go. Yeah. Very nice, Griffin. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Really cool. Really cool, Paul. What do you totally think? Totally awesome. Yeah. I love that. Oh, and look at this. It's a 53 Chevy with a straight six dual cars. Mm -mm. Ooh, it's a vintage Edmunds uh, thing. And they put on t with Fenton exhaust manifolds. Sweet. Really nice. Spinner caps. So, you know, this is the kind of show you're not going to see a lot of exotics, although here is a Corvette coming in. Looks good, man. Those guys are very happy. Uh, you know, you're driving a new Corvette. Uh, it's quite an extraordinary car. Look at this Maverick. Holy cow. It's got a straight six. Yep. Got some fatties going on on the back. I think this gets moving. Thus the skull shifter. I hope you guys are having a good time uh, this weekend. Uh, Pete Miller, Heather Brown. What's up, Heather? Jim, Jimmy Crisp, Ricky Thompson. Uh, lots of good cars at this show. Uh, once again, here's that same, the same freaking Porsche that shows up at every show. Nicely done. And Steve Gelbin's right there, the man hey, with the Porsche hat. Facebook Live. Facebook Live, baby. Watch what I say. You're shaking so the hands of the mirror right here. Uh, isn't that he awesome? That. I know that. Yeah. Why do you think I shaked it? Oh, or shook it? <laughs> this is Henry. Hey, That's Henry. Henry. Well, hi, everybody. What's In up? 
Facebook world? Yeah. So you just had a, a an article come out in what? Uh, that was uh, the Acorn. The Acorn. And I have a copy for you in the car. Excellent. Excellent. So if you guys are in Southern California, you want to read up on what Gilman does, he has something in the Acorn. Yeah. Nicely done. Um, is this a Subaru yes, engine? Sir. That's right. Subaru engine. Mm -hmm. Very nice. A lot of power. Good to see you. It does. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, it's really cool. We are shaking hands. Uh, there's no masks. People are just having a good time. Uh, Wait a minute. There's a Plymouth Fury. There's oh, that's the Plymouth you wanted to talk about. Okay. Look at that. Mm. I don't know. I feel like I'm at a candy store, Paul. I you are. When I was in high school, my older sister was dating a guy who had a, a version of this body with a four a 440 in it mm -hmm. and it was the most amazing rumpety rump vehicle I'd ever seen mm -hmm. and so so this I've is what this is what it. you'd want this is what if I it's gave you the keys the things, I would love this this is the key that you want I'll take it no damn <laughs> that's my truck key you gotta be kidding me quite nice 65 this was uh i hate to make you feel bad but this was built when i was born paul that's okay it, it's still around now though. it's still around now and so am i the original smart car uh which is dumb and it's funny the fury 3 has got larger that's um in the early 70s they got huge actually i was just standing over there and these guys and all i the only what i heard was that the original smart car was dumb that's the only thing I heard out of that conversation. You never know what you're going to hear uh, in Los Angeles, in Newberry Park. How about the 71 uh, vet over here? That is a very nice vet. I saw you pulling in. I'd like to have one of these as well. Yeah, it's a hard choice. It's a hard thing to decide. Look at a nice uh, cerulean blue interior. Beautiful. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure this is a 71. Guys, do you think it is? No, it's a 72. Snap. Yeah. Wow. You think you know dates and things like that. You know what? They're wonderful. And that fast back Mustang is also just incredible. Very nice. Uh, that's row two. Let's just uh, start row three. Check out this, uh, this uh, vintage classic. Very nice. Is this your car? No. Yep. You're leaning on it, so I figured it was. It's mine. Can I talk to you for a second about it? Sure. Come on over here. Okay. 26. Uh, I'll kind of come to you. No, that's all right. I'll make it. Okay. I left my cane at home. All right. All right. Yep. Okay, tell me your name. Ken Walkie. This is Ken, and he brought in this uh, 1926. 1926 Model T Ford. Model T. Why? Why this car for you? Why? You know, we've got all these these cars with this amazing horsepower, muscle, and everything else, and you got you got something that's old school. It's reversed me back in time. Uh, Model T was the first car I ever had at 13 years old, believe it or not. Wow. Uh, Model T center door. I bought it for five dollars. I took it completely apart and Five. did not have a clue how to put it back together. You, you paid a lot. You paid a lot. Well, Five, I, I $5. sold it for $5.60. Oh, so you made a profit. So I yeah. made a profit. Yeah, made a profit yeah. good, to, good. Uh, and that's yeah. how it's done, people. That's how you flip cars, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, actually, it's, I was in the land speed business for many years. Mm -hmm. And uh, see the stickers there. Yeah. Um, I've been over 300 miles an hour many times. In a car? In a car. Yeah. On the ground yeah. at the Bonneville Salt Flats. Wow. And when I gave that up, I bought the Model T and uh, decided to retire. Good job. So I'm 90 years old now. Wow. God bless you. And yeah, we got, uh, we got a, a I'm bunch. I'm pushing for 100. Good deal. Good deal. I expect to see you here at a, at a show. Thank you. Yeah. I see you have a Rajo overhead valve. Well, I did, and I blew it up. Ah, okay. So I built a flathead and put it back in. Perfect. So it still has much the edge. Let's take a look at the car. Let me show you guys the car. I was on the you know, it's one thing, uh, just to get serious for a moment, it's one thing to walk around and look at these cars, but when you talk to the people, 
that own these cars, you get an appreciation that is incomparable. Uh, to, to speak to someone who's 90 years old and say that he bought this car for five bucks, dude, uh, well, maybe not that exact car, but his car, his first car was this. Uh, pretty extraordinary stories. And, uh, you know, I, I just revel in things like that. The car's name is Lulu. Look at that. And you know that these guys could talk for hours about this stuff. I hope that you guys are getting out today, doing your thing, um, spending uh, the, the weekend chain linking good thoughts, good words, and good actions so that you can enjoy yourself and do some fun things. Hang out in uh, parking lots where there's cool cars like that one. And, uh, and a bunch of others. Oh, now now Paul, you know, Paul's the mayor, so he's got to go around and talk to people and shoot the shit as, uh, I think there's a technical term for that, shooting the shit when it comes to being mayor. Uh, he's doing a great job and uh, he loves cars, so that can't be all bad, right? Thank you, Ken. Uh, he's a good guy, I like him. Holy cow. Yeah, here's uh, an interesting motor. Is this, a, is this one of the mods right here? This cup of coffee? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's a little uh, octane boost. Yeah. A little jack-in-the-box boost. I don't know what they've done here. Yeah. What the hell is this thing? From the outside, it looks like a Z car. It, yeah, it's kind of a Z. It's been uh, wide-bodied, kind of. Yeah. And uh, rear engine. Yeah. Unless the motor is still up front also. No, there's, there's, I'd love to know more about it. I think if Mad Max got uh, a hold of the, of a Z car, this is kind of what it would look like. He wouldn't paint it white though, or he would have so much dirt on it that, you know, it, it would, it would, it'd be dirty, basically. There's some other cars over here. Real nice, real nice There's a uh, classic, uh, looks like a classic Bentley, yep. Another Tri-5. <laughs> Excuse me. Nice vintage Ford. Uh, we got a few vintage cars here today. Look at these. California paint right there. Kurt, what's up, buddy? How you doing, buddy? Where's your doggy? Oh, he had surgery yesterday. So. Oh, okay. Are we seeing you tomorrow? Yep. Okay, you gonna bring this? You gonna bring the orange one? This one's orange one. Something happened. Oh no! Really? Did you crash it? No, I was coming back from Somas, you know, burger joint here. Yeah. Me and Jay, and then it was clunking when I'd slow down, and when I got in the driveway, it just went clunk. Oh, okay. I think it's the rear end of the driveline. Yeah. Well, it's nice to have a second truck. Yeah, yeah. Good. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. So tomorrow is uh, Muscles and Mojo at the Murphy. I hope uh, some of you can join us for that. Uh, we'll have some neat cars there as well. Look at all this different color going on. Look at that. That blue here. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, you could not paint your car with that kind of texture, that's just stunning. Okay. And a little bit more right here. Serious. Beautiful Fords. All of these guys, these are all Fords here. You know, there's something about rust like this that's just amazing. Look at the different blues and blacks in here. and. And all the different, there's a bunch of different colors on that one. You know what they say though, it'll buff right out. It'll <laughs> get to work, buddy. This is a sweet parade car. Yeah. Gorgeous. Nail Valley Model A Ford Club. Boom. Boom is right. Yeah. All right. So stylish. There's another Z. Wow. Now this works uh, as far as a wide body kit, just these fenders. That works really nice. Great seats. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a beast. That's a beast. 
Yeah. We'll have to come back and take some photos of that one. Ooh. There's a new Corvette. What is that? That's an old, huh? It is. Yeah, it is. Look at those things. Those are flag holders. Yeah. Well, we should get this for the next parade you do as mayor, Paul. I think so. Yeah. Oh, look. Uh, if you were to buy this car, you'd get it for $2,208. 1948, right there. That's the day. Well, it was right after World War II, so the prices were sky high. Yeah. Marjorie Ellen Pryor bought it in Pueblo, Colorado. Wow. Well, what can I say? Back in the day, people. Back in the day. Glad she took good care of it. And then here's a nice silver Bel Air. Kind of something special going on, though. Look at those rear wheels. Those are very deep dish wheels. Yeah. The whole thing's dropped quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Very clean car, though. Beautiful. Very clean car. All right. Uh, how about this side? Oh, how about this caddy over here? Look at this. Kind of like this. Very nice. Yeah. That's, that's a, a coupe de villa, isn't it? It is. That's a pimp mobile right there. Wow. No. Yeah. Look at the size of this hood. I could shoot this for like a week. The elegance. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Wow. That's a big car. That's a big car. It's in terrific shape. Yeah. Yeah, you know, when you have a car that has this much side body to it, there's a good chance you're going to get dings and all kinds of things. And I don't see uh, it. And there is nothing but a straight shot across this car. Look at that. That is a straight shot. Mm -hmm. Fuel injected, no less. That is some very special paint. Yeah, they did a great, a great job of keeping the body straight or straightening the body, whatever it was. It's a two-door. It's the size of uh, a cruise ship, and it's a two-door. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. those are over 20 feet. Is that correct, do you think? Uh, per, uh, no. I wouldn't say. Uh, yes. Maybe 19 say. and a half. Yeah, 19 and a half, maybe. Ooh, here's a 67 vet. So that's a split window. Oh, the split window is 63. Yep. But it's got a 67 foot on You have to look at this, the sticker on the window. Look at the add-on and the cost. The way down, look at the bottom is the radio. Believe it or not, this show is actually a small one compared to most. Usually it fills over the rest of the parking lot, LA Fitness, all this over here. Uh, so it's not that big today. But definitely worth it because the kind of cars that you uh, get to enjoy here is pretty extraordinary. Uh, let me ask this guy, he's got the Z. This is awesome, man. Thank you. What do you got in this? Uh, F54 block, UD head, cam, triple McCoonies. It's a good time. It's insane. <laughs> it's great. We have a, a show up at the Murphy Auto Museum okay. tomorrow morning. All right. Yeah, twice a month, so bring it sometime. Yeah. That's just freaking cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Where's the mayor? Uh, there's a an orange BMW 2002. Get a lot of different stuff here. I just love that Bel Air. I love anything turquoise, and of course Kathy does also. So I am tasked that uh, if she's watching, she is going to uh, demand that I show her some uh, some turquoise. Uh, who else we got? Uh, Tracy Strong, Marco Rodriguez, uh, Pete Miller. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for joining us today, live from Caneo Valley Cars and Coffee. I'm your host, Fireball Tim Lawrence. If you uh, are watching this, you're on our page here, on the fan page. Uh, and uh, if you want to join us on Instagram, it's at Fireball Tim. Uh, we post everything from uh, movie cars to classics to customs, everything else. And, uh, and my company is Fireball Publishing. We do automotive coloring books of cool cars like this. They're all available on Amazon. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get Paul away from this car. I know it. I'm going to walk around the show for the next hour and 
And he's going to be stuck here. He's consumed by split window activity. Henry. Henry. Say hi, Henry. Hi, Henry. How are you? Look at the size of that nose. Good to see you, buddy. All right. And now uh, Gilman's got the shirt on. Look at that. Oh, yep. Is that cool? Yeah. Thank you very much, buddy. You're welcome. Oh, I've got this for you. Oh, the acorn. Okay. There it is. Yep. It's backwards, but that's okay. Yeah, that's right. So uh, uh, pick up a copy of the acorn uh, piece in there by uh, Gelman himself. So uh, I'm going to leave you guys. Uh, we got some other things to do. Uh, great show today. Big thanks to Craig Casey. Uh, go on Facebook and uh, check out Canal Valley Cars and Coffee uh, and friend up uh, Craig's uh, page also. Uh, we're doing our best to try and infuse a little bit of automotive love into the world. And we're doing it with all these people that uh you know wake up in the morning early bring their cars out to the show have a good time and share their stories and uh and that's what it's about so i hope you get out there this weekend and do the same but above all twa thoughts words and actions in the right direction join us on art talk every weekday morning on facebook live at 8 a.m uh, come hang out with us we're doing a lot of fun stuff have a spectacular day today guys i'm gonna check out the article <laughs> see you soon